when your case is coming up for trial, if our expert is not available, can we go ahead and take his testimony by video and then use that at the time of trial? Would you like to know the answer? Come join me for a walk as I share with you this great answer. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. The answer is, in some cases, yes, we can. Now, how does this work? Okay, typically what happens is that when your case gets to trial, now we want the witness to be in front of the jury. We want to be able to question the witness, and now we want the jury to be able to see the witness, to hear the witness, to understand and look at them, and to judge his credibility, his or her credibility. That's ideally what we want, to be able to judge the credibility of a witness. Now, let's say our medical expert is not able to come in, maybe he's on vacation, yet he still wants to testify. Can we set up a video conference to go ahead and do that? Well, that's a different question than the one that I raised in this video, which is, can we go ahead and videotape the doctor's deposition at a time before the trial actually starts? So let's address that question first. The answer is, yes, there are limited instances where the court will permit us to go ahead and question the doctor during a videotaped deposition. Now, a deposition is nothing more than a question and answer session that takes place in the attorney's office, in his conference room. All right, But the answers that the doctor gives during that question and answer session actually carries the same exact weight as if the witness is testifying at trial. There's no judge there and there's no jury there. So what's the big deal? The big deal is that now we are preserving the doctor's testimony and giving each attorney an opportunity to question and cross-examine the doctor. So now we are preserving that information for the purposes of trial. So now when the case finally comes up, maybe it's a week or two or a month down the road, so now I can play the medical expert's testimony for the jury. The jury can hear exactly his answers. And now the defense attorney can't jump up and say, hey, judge, I never had a chance to question or cross-examine this particular expert. That puts him in an unfavorable position. So in that instance where the expert is unavailable and the only other alternative is to do a video deposition before the trial actually starts, now... I have to give my adversary notice, put him on notice that my expert is going to be available at a particular time, let him know that I will be videotaping it so that now he can go ahead and prepare his cross-examination, and then I will go ahead and do an entire direct examination of my expert. Now what's a direct examination? It's where I ask the doctor open-ended questions, questions that call for his opinions and his conclusions based upon the medical records that he reviewed. In that instance, now the doctor will go ahead and explain to me, and also to the jury ultimately, exactly why he believes something was done wrong, and what injuries the patient suffered because of that. And now, after I've had a chance to question the doctor during this videotape question and answer session, now my opponent has a chance to cross-examine him. And it's the same exact cross-examination that would take place as if we were at trial. That means he can ask leading questions. That means he can try and show that the doctor's credibility is less than what it should be. That means he can show inconsistencies in his testimony. And he can try and impeach his credibility during this question and answer session. And it's all because we are using this as an alternative means to get this information in front of the jury when your case actually gets to trial. So let's jump ahead now to the other question that I asked. And that is, can we video conference the testimony? In all likelihood, the judge will not allow an expert to testify by video conference where, let's say, the expert is out of the country and the only way we can get his testimony in front of the jury is to do some video conference. Now, I have not personally seen that occur in court. Could it possibly happen in today's day and age? There's a possibility, but it's highly unlikely. But having said that, if we could accomplish this in an easy-to-do manner, and now it doesn't take up much time, and it's simple, and now we can get the expert on video, and now the jury and the judge and everybody can see the witness. Now I have a chance to question him. The defense attorney also has an opportunity to question him. That would set up a great opportunity to do this remotely, which would be fantastic, but in all likelihood, it's not gonna happen. So why do I share this great information with you? Because in all likelihood, you're watching this video since you have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit but have not done so yet and your matter happened here in New York, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at 
oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.